is my cot. Is that something you're supposed to do? Hello. That's Ooh. our guest. Yay. You ready? Four. Four. <laughs> I always like, I can't. Pitch. Okay, ready? Four. Close enough, ready? <laughs> Go. Fools and Friday. Fools and Friday. Wow. I'm Annie. And I'm Emily. <laughs> and we're, we're your Masters of Scent. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I knew Becca was gonna lose yeah. it. Any ads this week? Not yet, but um, just wait. If you're out there, if any sponsors are out there, we would love to sponsor can any get, school appropriate product. Can we get sponsored by Red Bull? Can we talk oh to Ty? <laughs> can we? I I will ask him. Shameless what protocol is on oh, yeah. that, but I feel like it's kind of a stretch. But we'll ask. Whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Well, we're so excited for you to meet our guest today. One. I'm not, I'm not going to introduce her yet, but um, this individual a is mystery. one. Hey, <laughs> you'll never know. This is one of <laughs> Annie and I's favorite people in the whole entire world. She is ridiculous. Introduce mm-hmm. her, Annie. She is. Wait, you, can I say her name? Is yes. Right? Okay. Her name is Rebecca Rimothy. That's right. Also known as what? Becca. What the frick is up? <laughs> oh my what gosh. What the frick is up? So, yeah. Becca is a mutual friend of ours, yet again. Yeah, how'd you meet Becca again? That's... I met her, Becca last year, at the beginning of freshman year. Just, yeah. Riley. And we were had we were having that dance party. It was Maggie's room. Yeah. And, and Wait, but Riley do you remember what home. song? It was. We were singing. Well, the song that really impacted. I want to dance with somebody. Oh yeah, that was a big one. But I remember we played "It's Every Day, Bro." Oh and I yeah. Was like, oh my gosh, they know it. <laughs> Wild. And then I think that I met Becca at the library yeah. at like two a.m. Oh, it's actually yeah. I met you guys on the same day. And then I like ran into you. I was like, "Why do I know yeah. you?" And well, then, we have like a bunch of mutual friends, with, like Casey friends. and yeah. like. Others. Yeah. <laughs> like Casey. And That's Casey. about it. Anyway. Okay, Becca, so what year are you? What are you studying? Where are you from? I am a sophomore in advertising from good old Madrid, Iowa, not Madrid, Spain. <laughs> Even though when I came to orientation, I like was sitting right next to this guy and he we were all like introducing each other. He was like, Yeah, I'm from Madrid. I'm like, I'm from Madrid. <laughs> it was just a connection. That's yeah. a connection. You're like, sorry, I'm not trying to step on any toes here, <laughs> but I'm from Madrid. Yes. What do you want to do with advertisement? Are you passionate about advertisement? I, yeah, I would say I'm relatively passionate. <laughs> I mean, I want to pursue it as a career, but um, I like the creative aspect of it. Do you have any, like, if you weren't doing this, you would be doing this in your mind? Um, Probably journalism. Right now, I'm on a journalism kick, and really, <laughs> yeah. So what's your major, dude? Uh, I don't know. Ooh. Why are you what's in a journalism? You back? Yeah. What's the What's the kick? It's Lisa. Oh, <laughs> Professor Oaks. <laughs> you, you don't, dude, I had a class with Professor Oaks last semester, and I was like, the first day I walked in there, and I sat down, and I was like, oh, Lisa, like asked her a question, and then she gets like class starts, and she says the first thing is, don't call me Lisa. And I was like, oh, beep bop. <laughs> beep bop. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so, why, what, yeah, what is she? Just well, my class was canceled today. But. Oh, sad. <laughs> so that's why you like journalism? Because class <laughs> was canceled? No, that is a pro. <laughs> yeah, I like journalism, surprisingly. But. That's good. I mean, it's definitely a big part of advertising. So. It's amazing. Um, okay, so I really enjoy asking this question, but... If you wrote a book about your life, what would it be called? <laughs> oh, gosh. I've been asked this before. I'm trying to think what they usually say. I would say, like, fearfully afraid. What does that mean? Ooh, we've got an intellect <laughs> in yes. the podcast room right now. <laughs> like, there's so much to be afraid of, but, like, you have to be fearfully... <laughs> like, you just gotta send it sometimes. Yes. Like, Full circle. Yeah, I feel that. What kind of things are you, like, currently afraid of that you're, like, pursuing? Hmm. Um, this is also, like, but, like, the unknown. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like the future. Kinda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, freaking Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's Arizona? <laughs> yeah. What's Arizona? 
Arizona. Yeah, Andy and I are going to Arizona next semester for National Student Exchange. Yep. What's that? Um, basically, well, we're supposed to pay Iowa State's tuition. Oh, no, what happened? But it kind of got frazzle-dazzled, so yeah. now we're paying Northern Arizona's tuition. But, but for in-state, in-state. Yeah. Is it's, it more expensive? It's a little it's more like expensive, maybe. It's like 1500 more. more so. Okay. It's not crazy, but... Okay, I just met someone the other day, actually, that is from Arizona, and I was talking to him, I was like, yeah, I have some friends going to Flagstaff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And he was like, that place is freaking amazing. He was like, you're never going to run out of things to do. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm visiting. So we have a connection. I'm excited. I've never heard anything bad right. about yeah. Arizona. What yeah. are you most excited about Arizona for? Well, I've never been there before. Yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement is just committed it's to just your body. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've never been there, so it'll be interesting to explore. Yeah. And yeah. might go to Las Vegas. You yeah. know. Might go to Coachella. Go crazy. <laughs> is that in Arizona? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I have FOMO. I wish I was going to Arizona with you guys. Well, you can visit us I definitely every will. weekend. I have a Tuesday, Thursday. What if I just like, got flights? They're so cheap. Really? Yeah. yeah. They're like two hundred dollars. Or there's a train Where do from I fly Kansas into? City. Uh, Phoenix. There's a train from Kansas City to Flagstaff. I have to get like Jacob Gasper or something like that to just go with me. He would go. Mm-hmm. Probably oh, not busy. a lot. He's busy, but he's a sender, and uh, he loves Arizona. We should get him on he's the a podcast. Fellow sender. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many people in so little time. So many people, little time. Wow. You know <laughs> what I've taken up recently. <laughs> Is yoga. <gasps> really? Tell us about yoga. Why? Um, well, I can't touch my toes. I haven't since the 2008 era of Sean Johnson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that time where, like, Sean Johnson, the golden girl of Iowa, where, like, everyone wanted to be like her? Yes. yes. That I was remember me. remember her very well. I was the yes. girl doing back bends at recess. <laughs> and then puberty struck, yeah. and I can barely, well, like, yeah, reach past my legs. knees. So you started yoga. Yeah. Are you doing hot um, yoga? No. Where do you do it's yoga? Ugly at? yoga. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Where where do you do yoga? Um, in our living room. Oh. Just like every day, or every couple of days. Um, me and my roommate try to do it. Well, we're starting to do it like every night ish. That's nice. What's your morning routine? I love that question. <laughs> <sighs> Besides on Thursdays. Hey, <laughs> um, gosh, I guess I wake up pretty early on most days. I usually wake up at like seven. Um, I do my homework in the morning. Mm. A I'm a lot. morning homework Rare. person as well. Interesting. That's yeah. interesting. I have to like have that pressure of like, yes. I have class in 10 minutes and I need to get this done. Yes. <laughs> so I am a morning homework gal. Amazing. Interesting. And then I skedaddle out of the door like five minutes before I need to leave. I was late to my class today because I was taking a nap and my alarm never went off and I was like, wow, class starts in four minutes. Yeah. (laughs) What time were you taking your nap? Um, well, like my morning class got canceled. So I'm like, oh, I'll just sleep. And I slept from like 11 to one. I had this funny thing happen in class today. My professor, she was kind of going over, like, what next week is supposed to look like. And she says something like, next week is week 12, which is really strange that we're already there. Yeah. She paused for a second, and then she continued to talk. And when she said that, I turned to my friend Cassie, and I said, wow, already week 12. Anyway, Professor Provenzano comes up to me, and she says, Emily, you didn't comment on week 12 today. And she's like, I've been paying attention, and every time I say the week, since week eight, you've been like, wow, it's week <laughs> eight. And I was like, oh, I literally just told Cassie. I'm yeah. surprised. She just didn't hear me, and I was like, oh, my gosh, my professor has literally been setting me up and listening. Like, and she's not that kind of professor that, like, really cares about, um, <laughs> like, her how students. unique her students are. Nice. Just Hopefully like, you, you know. don't listen to this professor, professor. But I love her. I absolutely love her. I'm actually a big fan. I, like, kind of want to take another class with her. But whatever. Anyway, That's back so to Becca. Funny. Um, tell us about your hobbies. What do you do for fun? What I do for fun. Um, well, I like being outside a lot. 
What's like your favorite thing to do outside? The good old outdoors kayaking. Honestly, Are you really? I'm a I'm a yacker. You're a yacker. Yeah, amazing. We should yak together yeah. sometime. Yeah. What's your favorite place to yak? Like in Central um, Iowa. Well, it's not really Central Iowa, but oh. my family and I go to the Upper Iowa River every summer, and yeah. do like a overnight little trip. An overnight yak right. trip. Yeah. So That's you so kayak, kind of ball. camp, kayak type of thing. Mm-hmm. But we don't like camp on the banks, which I really want to do. That's what I do in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. My my dad and my brother will do that, but well th- they'll do that sometimes, but mm-hmm. we like this year we got a cabin and we like went with another family friend and it was really fun. It's so fun. Yeah. You said this once and like it really stuck with me about kayaking cuz I was like, <laughs> I like kayaking. You're like, I do too. I think it's cuz I'm like so close to the water. You're like basically sitting on the water. Yeah. And I'm like, that's that's you exactly really... why I like it. That's, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe that wasn't, that was pretty mind-blowing for me. <laughs> One with nature. Yeah, I am in What the is, water. like, something, like, nature trip type? <laughs> <laughs> We're all tied here. What is, like, some sort of, I hate the word adventure, but, like, some Why? sort of. <laughs> Sorry, I, don't, I don't know, I just think that it's just become so, like, watered down to me. Okay. Maybe. Like, like, like the overused. word. Like, Yes, it's like overused like the word and awesome. lightly used. Like that's awesome. It's like no. Yeah, awesome used to be very powerful. It's like yeah, awesome. like full of awe. But yeah. Now it's yeah. Okay. But oh. anyway, <laughs> I just think that like the, like, what is some sort of outdoor challenge or like trip excursion the, excursion? Thank you, Annie, for being my words. Mm. <laughs> that you would like, like what's the on the dream right now? What's on what the I, dream? What I what want is to the do? Dream? Yeah, like what if you had. Unlimited time, money, resources. Like, where would you go? What would you do? Who would you bring? Like, come oh, on, wow. paint this picture for me. Okay. Um, I've never put much thought into this. I've always wanted to, like, climb a mountain. Like honestly. a 14er? I, or, like, a scale? Like, like technical climb? Like, what Like, I outdoor <laughs> rock climbing? Yes. So, technical climbing? Yes. We're talking about rock climbing. <laughs> We try to talk about rock climbing in every episode. I'm taking a rock climbing class in Arizona. Are no you way. Really? Yeah, I get one credit for it. Fun. Like, isn't that insane? Amazing. That's fun. Um, like, yeah, do you have a specific location? No. <laughs> you just want to go out to a rock climbing? Yeah. Okay, come with me. <gasps> really? Yes, I'm not kidding. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> What else is going on on this trip? Like, are you sleeping outside? Are you sleeping in tents? Are you sleeping in the cabin? Oh, outside tents. <clears throat> like, I want to live off the land someday. Adderall. Like, that is my goal. But. Would you be down for van life? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Take pop. Per- this <laughs> Friday just gotta, goes van life. Preferably by the river. Yeah. <laughs> just gotta let, let all those, like, single guys out there that listen to our podcast know that Becca would be down for the van life. Yes. So, uh-huh. I wish wife you her if you're down for the van life. It's kind of my thoughts. Hmm. Who are you bringing? Who are your, like, go-to, like, trip is restful when they're there and super fun when they're there? Hmm. Just give me a handful of people and kind of tell me why you like them so much, being around them. Okay. And everyone else, don't feel bad when she doesn't, <laughs> when she doesn't name you. I'm sure that you are all sorts of inc- incredible and your brilliance is maybe just elsewhere. Amen to that. Well, honestly, you two. Okay, but why? You have to tell us okay. why you have this with you. Well, honestly, you're like the most, like, like go at it. I'm just going to, I don't want to say full send, another adjective. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Synonym. Yeah. Um, just like, you just do it. I love it. Um, some other people. Like my dog. Why your dog? She's just like a ball of energy, and <laughs> it kind of scares me sometimes. But she could, she could find your food. Oh yeah, she's a good hunting dog. Hmm. So that would be great. Um. Maggie Potter. Who's Maggie? Maggie's my high school best friend. What's she like? She <laughs> is a goofball. So she'd just like, be really fun to have on the trip? Yeah. She'd be really fun. Would our goofiness complement each other or conflict? I think so. 
I okay. think. <laughs> I <laughs> <want to watch. laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Yes. No, I think it would complement each other. I don't know. You know Maggie too. Yeah. Maggie. No, I don't. I think that we we wouldn't skip a beat with Maggie. <laughs> Sounds like a hoot. Honestly, I think we should make this happen. Yeah. Okay. Van like life. van trip. Van trip, rock climbing. Yes. Women. Yes. yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we just paint on the van. Women. Women, yeah. <laughs> women who rock climb. Yeah. <laughs> women who van. Women who eat granola. <laughs> <laughs> women who are granola. <laughs> Um, That's how we should run for Halloween, guys. We also run for Nola. Oh, my gosh. I was, was, like, thinking about that. How would you even make that costume? We were, like, a green. Like, like a nature valley. Yeah, nature valley. Like, like wear a green sleeping bag and put nature valley on it and then, like, put little, like, <laughs> I was I was thinking of like the so naked fun. granola. I wasn't oh. thinking of like a wrapped like because like you could be like a Lara bar or like something. Yeah, see, I was thinking easy. like a bar. But I was thinking like like what would you like crunch up like brown Tissue paper, paper bags and just like paper. all over. Yeah, it looks like popcorn. An occasional like raisin or something. <laughs> Get those cashews <laughs> in. That'd be so funny. Did you dress up for Halloween, Becca? Yes. What were you? Um. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Um, I was a blind Big Twelve ref. Oh. <laughs> did you come Dab. up with that? Yeah, I did. Wow. You're amazing. It was in the original. So what did you wear? Like, um, well, I wore like a striped shirt, and then like sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And then like. I was like, what did sunglasses. you think you'd wear? <laughs> That's what I was, I guess, picturing. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know if you were like. Did you do the whole act, like, act like you couldn't see anything? Yeah. But I realized when I do that, I actually close my eyes. <laughs> so you were like blind. That's But, like, I don't authentic. mean to. It's just, like, when I act blind, I just automatically <laughs> Every go time blind. I act blind. <laughs> I have something against Halloween why? dressing up. I don't know why I said Halloween. I don't have anything against dress- Halloween. Halloween uh, why do I always <laughs> lie on this podcast? <laughs> I have nothing wrong with the holiday, but I just don't like dressing up because I think I'm subconsciously trying to portray myself in the most authentic way possible that if I'm ever, like, morphing that, like, if I wear something that really I wouldn't wear or something like that, I feel, like, not Mm -hmm. myself and I feel really embarrassed to exist. I'm like, I'm not. It's super weird. But, like, yeah, yeah, it's just one of those things. Okay, I have a a mom question. So I told you the moms really like this podcast. (laughs) So my mom wants to know <clears throat> if you are related to the llama people. Yes! You are! Rima Llama! It's you're, a thing! You're related to the llama people. Like, in what, like... Who it's my they? grandpa. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You know, when I was a little duder, I got spit on by one of those llamas. Oh no. When were you there? Years ago. Like, oh, was it a field trip? I think so. Yeah, they used to, like, go out and visit his farm. Do you know, a lot, like, any fun facts about llamas? Um, well, I used to show llamas in the county oh. fair. How do you show a llama? <laughs> you're <saying> llama. Yeah. <laughs> you just lead it around, and like you just lead it around the the How arena. How do you win? It's just like the best looking llama. How many llamas were there? Like at this, like which is you and your ten, cousins. Like oh no, my gosh. it was just like ten llamas. What? At, at the, the Polk County Fair. At the Polk, there's like a llama barn. Like, it'll say llamas. What makes... (laughs) Like, there's no more llamas I showed in the... I showed in the Story County Fair. Mm. We didn't have llamas there. We don't have llamas. But what makes... What makes a good-looking llama? Um, well, like, if their neck is shaved, like, really nicely, and... So you shave their necks. It's like a poodle show. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of. But, oh, I showed Coco, and that was my favorite, because it knew how to, like, Talk and that like llama. Do you know any fun llama facts? Like I don't know if this was like my deranged like nine year old self, but I would talk to the llama and it would talk back to me. (laughs) Oh, what? (laughs) (laughs) Like, (laughs) like talk how? Speak words? No. Okay. Well, don't be ridiculous. (laughs) No, it would just like communicate. It would just like. I don't even know. I was just like, hey, 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 hey. like right after yes. I would ask the question. Interesting. Did you speak Are llamas what? smart? <laughs> you know. Like, um, I would like to think so. Did but your llama not. ever spit on you? No. I bet you it was Coco who spit on you. It's probably I was like was it a blood related. But like, yeah. Mm. 
Maybe. Maybe they knew I kind of wanted to spit on them, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. What's, like, do you have any funny llama stories? Um, I always, like, tried to ride them whenever I went to the farm. Would they buck you off? I never got to. I just always wanted to. Like, oh. Mm. Wow. Are I just, you, wanna, are you, I just is, want to slap a saddle on that thing. Is able to ride a llama? Is that I mean, a thing? I'm sure. Yeah. They're, like, pack llamas are, like, what they're for, True. isn't it? Yeah. What were llamas True. for before they were for or something? That's my question. Can you milk a llama? Can you? Probably. You could probably technically milk pretty much anything. Honestly, animal. yes. Like, Isn't that a thing? Cat milk? Isn't Ew. That like yeah, you can milk now a cat. Now this podcast is getting weird. Yeah. <laughs> Full send, you know? Yeah. That's Comment down below. Can you milk a llama? Yeah. <laughs> I think you can. I feel like I've heard of it. <laughs> well, goat's milk. Oh, yeah. I should have been a llama for Halloween. I want to be a llama farmer. Llamas are so fun. Would that oh be in gosh. the mountains? He literally has like a license plate that says Rima Llama. Oh, Rima <laughs> Llama. No, they live in like Slater? Yeah, Slater. Yeah. yeah. Um, that house, like, I'm from Slater. Mm-hmm. So I d- drove past that house, driven. Full circle. Journalism. <laughs> Journalism major. <laughs> Journal- oh, buddy. I, Dude, I drove. <coughs> my professor handed me back a paper today. And I think I talked about her in this last one, the one that said, is this a word? word? And she had three words circled, and she was like, are you spelling? And, like, it's because we're writing voicers, which are in all caps, and there's no, like, spell check. And I spelled the word brown, B-O-W-N, bound, and, like, just, like, left out a lot of... There's no spell check? Not in all caps. Oh, what a nightmare that would be for me. I literally just, like... And with no remorse, and I can spell. <laughs> That's why you should write all your documents on Word, because there's spell check. I mean, on Google Docs, there's spell check in oh. all caps there, but not in Word. Oh. It's spooky. Mm. Anyway, okay, Just Becca. journals and things. Since this is our full mm. send Friday podcast, mm. we would love to hear a full send story of yours and some full send advice. Gosh, I was thinking about this because. Mm. <laughs> I was thinking, like, what would be, like, a worthy full send story to share? Yeah. Um, Pretty big deal. Any, anything. Anything that was big to you. Um, that you had that moment of, I got, just got to full send it. Okay. Well, I did a bunch of stupid stuff in high school. <laughs> My but probably, like, the biggest full send was when we streaked across the baseball field. Oh, my gosh. Okay, <laughs> so, so real, tell us sense. the narrative. What was leading okay. up to this? Well, and who are dis- the we's? I mean, you don't have to tell us. Slight the- disclaimer, this was, like, at night, so, like, it wasn't during a game. Okay, but still. But okay, still. if that was during a game, I yeah, would have no, lost it. That would have been, been, been a little much. That's, so that's like, a, like, I don't even know if we can endorse that. Yeah, I don't know if we can include this on the podcast. Um... Okay, yeah, so the story was we, so every year our softball team would camp out on the softball field, and, like, me and the seniors, well, I was like, guys, we just need to, like, do something crazy tonight, like. Is that, like, typical Becca fashion, <laughs> just wanting to do something crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, That's why we're friends. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, like, what? I'm like, all right, let's streak across the baseball field. That was your first, like, thing crazy? Yeah. Just, like, let's streak across the baseball field. Like, like there was just, like, sprinklers and, like, it just seemed like... Oh, fun. A good time. That's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and so we had to, like, plan it out because we had to, like, sneak away from, like, all the underclassmen. And then <laughs> we also had, like, our coaches were there, too. Oh. And, like, the baseball fields and the softball fields are, like, right next to each other. Like, softball, baseball. I mean, this is not a visual, like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't um, see you. But, yeah, so we had to, like, sneak away, and then we're just, like... All right, let's go. And so <laughs> we just literally ran from like right field to left field. Um, we were singing like, <laughs> what were we singing? We're like tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we are. Young. High school is the like, best time yeah. ever. Just being total goobers and <laughs> one of my, it was Maggie actually. She like peed on the baseball field. And oh my <laughs> god! Exposed. Exposed. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that full send story. Yeah. Do you have any send advice for all of our senders out there? Also, to all our listeners out there, I would like you to know that when I'm saying the word send, I really am saying the word send, S-E-N-D, not S-I-N. <laughs> I kind of have a, a little bit of a speech something. We don't know, but 
Yeah. Full send. <laughs> full send. <laughs> Not full send. They do sound funny. similar. I mean, what's your send advice, Becca? Yeah. <laughs> what's They're your... kind of the same thing, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would say, gosh, whenever you have something to risk, like, I mean, <laughs> I feel like a full send <laughs> is like you're risking something, you know? Mm-hmm. And, but like, how awesome is it that we have something to risk? Mm. Okay. That's a thought. That's true. At a girl. Okay. So. Well, thank you for being on our podcast. Yes. For our first female guest. Yes. Ooh, women. You're setting the bar. Breaking um, down barriers. Yes. Yeah, and to all our listeners out there, hope you have a Cindy week. Cindy. S- week. I was say Saturday. S- Cindy Friday. <laughs> um, and also rest of the week. Yes, this the podcast will be getting <laughs> on the app <laughs> soon, probably. <laughs> Yeah, we'll work on that. Um, but we'll on as that. of now, it's just going to be on our like little YouTube channel. So comment, like, subscribe. Full send. No, I can't remember. Full send. What was What's the? It's the, okay. Full send Friday. Full send Friday. Full send Friday. I can't not laugh. <laughs> Do it without Friday. laughing. Do it without laughing. You won't. Friday. Friday. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Have a good yep. beep up. <laughs>